I'm Dan Osborne, I'm one of the trustees of Joe's Own. The charity is set up in memory of James Osborne, who was known as Jay to his friends and his family. Um, Jay really sadly died unexpectedly from a sudden cardiac arrest whilst out running in 2017 in Exeter. Um, for us as trustees, I think it's, it's massively important to us that his name lives on through the charity um, and that hopefully we create a legacy in his name um, that ultimately saves lives and will continue to save lives. Jay's aim is set up to reduce the number of young people that die of sudden cardiac arrest in southwest England. We do this in three ways. One is to go into schools, colleges, sports clubs and community spaces to deliver our free CPR and how to use a defibrillator training. Second thing we do is we put public access defibrillators out and about in public spaces and communities. And then the third and final thing that we do is we fund cardiac screening sessions that are free to attend to participants. There was excitement running around playing football. My, my lad was playing as well. So that was, that was, that was good. We had a few breaks of attack and then they had broken down and we tracked back and it was on the last, I mean, it was always going to be the last, the last attack. Um, that's when I kind of felt a euphoric feeling and um, I had to, felt that I had to lie down before I fell down. I knew about it was we somebody picked the football up on our pitch and said we'd better stop here for a moment um, and they pointed over to the other other pitch where I could see there was a group of people gathered around in a circle um, it was clear that something was happening there was an event and it was quite serious we discussed it and we were like yeah we need to start compressions um, so just went into autopilot really started doing compression CPR started straight away, chest compressions. I ended up taking that over on, on, on the head, on the, on the breaths. Then someone said, you know, we need the defib here, this is serious. Um, so luckily, Rob, the guy I was talking to, used to work at the sports hall. So um, he ran down, I guess he knew where it was. I don't know if he knew the code or whatever, but it seemed like no time at all he was down there and back with the defib. Daz is top off, we had the defib on um, pretty quickly. Again, carrying on with the compressions. Um, set the defib up and it went through its cycle and told us we needed to, to do something about it. We needed to shock him. It fired a couple of times from memory. I don't know how many cycles we did of compressions. To its third cycle, it said we didn't need to do any more. It was really quite an amazing relief when the paramedics then arrived, they kind of took over from the scene and I, I remember thinking and feeling that we all needed that. Well, I'd like to say thanks. I mean, it sounds daft and, and cliche and whatever, but just thanks, you know, um, that they were able to do that because of their, their knowledge and, and intelligence. I just played a small part in an amazing event to get the result that we did out there. I'm, I'm not a hero, n not, not anywhere near it. It was just amazing to now think back that all those people doing the right things at the right time with the right equipment made for an amazing result. And advice going forward to anyone that might be watching this, I would just say just having that little tiny bit of knowledge of CPR, if you can just do something, it's better than nothing. To, to have those, the, the defibs in a, in, a, in a position and a location where they can, you know, be used so quickly is, is, is just a great, it's a great thing. I'm not sure Daz would have made it that night. Um, and Jay Zane provided the defibrillator at the centre here. And I'm pretty convinced without out that, yeah, he, he wouldn't have made it. Jay Zane, is an amazing charity, get behind it. It's here for the whole community, it's here for everyone and it will save lives.